Yannick, uh, amazing match. Another classic uh, UCF SMU always pulls a dramatic match. And uh, you were amazing. Career high in saves. Just take me, what was it like to be a part of that match and, and just really getting peppered for their shots, but just coming up with incredible save after incredible save? Um, yeah, it was a very tough game for us. Um, we knew SMU is a, is a very different team in those tournament games and those knockout games. Um, they come out flying. And um, yeah, we, we didn't really match them, match their energy in uh, most parts of the game and uh, kind of lost the way we wanted to play the game. Um, and that resulted in a lot of chances for them. Talk about your performance tonight. You seemed a man possessed at times. <laughs> well, I am. Uh, many people say that about me. That I'm a little different as a goalkeeper, very energetic. Um, uh, but in the end, it's just my job. You know, it's I'm there to make saves. Um, if I'm if I'm not doing that, I'm I'm playing the wrong position, or I'm not meant for this position at all. So um, I just think I did my job tonight, like everyone else. Um, sometimes you have a better day in the office. Sometimes you have a, have a worse day in the office, and that's just how it is. The cut, the broadcast showed you talking to your team right before the start of overtime. You were very right in the middle of it. You were doing all the talking. What was the message to the guys there when the break right prior to the start of overtime? Well, in the end, um, it is sometimes sometimes you as a team lose lose confidence in yourself and i was just there to make sure that that we don't that we remind ourselves hey it's one 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 goal changes the game the one way or the other that we got to be awake stuff so we have to be awake for that so that we can't concede a goal and at the same time that we just keep fighting um it was a very very hard day for us today and in those days uh it wasn't just me. It was multiple people on the team who would just step up and say, "Hey, let's go, let's go. We gotta get, we gotta get going." It's that's not working right now. What we plan, I don't know. We some people are having a bad day, but then uh, some people gotta step up and and keep the level where we want it and uh, keep competing. Well, in addition to the messaging, there it's also key to communicate with one another in your positioning, and it seemed like that was also a factor at certain moments in this game as well. No, for sure. Um, I mean, as a goalkeeper, you see the whole field. You see more than ever, every, anyone else in the field. Um, so it's very, very important that you as a goalkeeper open your mouth and you tell them what you see. And um, especially today where, our, where we didn't really follow our plan or our plan didn't work out. They played, SMU played a very good press. Um, we had to find solutions and, and you, only, you only find solutions if you talk to each other. So that was very important, yeah. Take me through your mind when Gino hit the game-winning PK there, dude, and you knew you were advancing. Um, amazing, amazing, uh, very good. It's a it's a great feeling. Uh, it feels like we SMU and us we switch roles, finally, where we come come out with uh, the win, but don't play as pretty um, because the past past years we've been we've been dominant in the games, but we didn't win it. So um, it feels really good to have this win in the pocket and going into Saturday. Um, this, this will carry the team, um, and I hope we carry our momentum through. What is it about this rivalry with SMU? Every one of these matches the last couple of years has been very intense. Um, yeah, I'm, I, think, I think it's uh, both very, very good teams. Um, and we, when we compete, it's... Uh, we know we know that we are the ones uh, I don't know hurting us the most, each hurting each other the most in the in the conference and then in the knockout games. It, it's been the past years, and um, and we have I think a ton of a ton of respect for each other. It's uh, you see that on the field. Um, it's there, it's it's a different dynamic than other games for sure. Um, and then I don't know. It's uh, it's always tough to play them. Uh, they have a very vocal bench. Um, that gets uh, really annoying sometimes, but you just got to deal with it and you just can't let it get into your head. That's how it is. Is this like your best match? I know you don't, you probably don't rec you know, rank your matches, but your, some of your saves are all over social media right now and, and highlights. Uh, I mean, where does this rank for you personally? Um, to be honest, yeah, probably one of my busiest games ever. Um, but in the end, I, like I said, I'm here to do a job and, uh, my team usually does an amazing job 
in not letting me make my do my job. So um, I haven't had this busy of a game at UCF yet. Um, I had before, but uh, but yeah, the team is amazing. And uh, if I, in the end, have nothing to do in a game, that's a good day for a goalkeeper. Three losses this season, two of which are to Tulsa. This is a different team, your team now, and you're on a roll and momentum, but Tulsa still presents a formidable challenge on Saturday, don't they? No, for sure. Uh, can any underestimate anyone in the in the league, um, and especially Tulsa, who have been who've been playing good soccer this season, um, for for sure is a is a very very good opponent for us on sun, on Saturday, and uh, we got to be ready for it. And um, I hope that today was kind of a wake up call for us to be there, to be there from the first minutes to the last.